And good morning and welcome back to the Saturday morning retro stream. El Retro Commanders, it's good to be back on Saturday. I miss the Saturday one stream as well because it's, I like playing retro games because sometimes they're better than the modern ones, but <laughs> it's just fun. It's just fun. Anyway, it's lovely to have you all back with me this morning. So apologies, yes, last week, last week I was in Scotland. I, I was in Scotland, I was in Edinburgh with my, um, or, is it Edinburgh? Edinburgh? <laughs> I can't pronounce anything up there anyway. Um, <laughs> I did have a very nice, we, we stayed in a Premier Inn, um, as you do, um, for those of you in the UK, Premier Inn, if you're not in the UK, it's Edinburgh, it's Edinburgh. okay, well, I'll bear that in mind. Um, <laughs> for those of you not in the UK, Premier Inn, although it sounds posh, it isn't, okay, it's like, <laughs> it's like almost the cheapest hotel you can buy. Um, um, so it's kind of a, it's a kind of a useful stopgap because basically if you need to go somewhere and you're not sure a premier in is all it's like McDonald's okay it's you know you know it's cheap you know it's not particularly good but you know what you're getting <laughs> if that makes sense so a premier in um, you know it's it's, it's, a, it's the same <laughs> it's the same experience no matter where you go basically you get a key card you get a room you get a basic bed you get a sink. You get a cup of tea, which of course is very British making facilities, uh, and that's it. Okay, it's very simple, but you know what you're going to get. Um, so uh, basically, that's where we went. So a Premier Inn, although it sounds well, that sounds really nice in a kind of homely British sort of a way. No, <laughs> it's a cheap and cheerful hotel, but that's where we were. So. Um, 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 but yes, yeah, so that was last week. So apologies, I wasn't here. So this week I am here, uh, as you can see. <laughs> and uh, we will crack on with Wing Commander Prophecy. But first, of course, we must we must do what we must do, which is the, the roll call. Hang on, let's get to game mode while we're waiting. Um, right, who do we have on the stream? We have Dr. Quest MD. Uh, Technologians is here. The Arrakis is here. <laughs> Fighting off the invasion of the Harkonnens, and the Harkonnens are here, desperately trying to evade Arrakis. <laughs> Actually, next door, side to side in the chat, which is just excellent. Uh, <laughs> Come on, the Kelvinator is here. Benjamin McGinty is here. Wintermute GB is here. Of course, of course, he is. This is always excellent to see you. Uh, DJ Scooby is here. Mad Monksoft is here. The Big Boo is here. Saturday mornings, of course. Why, why wouldn't you be here, Big Boo? You're always here for Saturday mornings. I appreciate that. Uh, Commander Sodak is here. Hero Sweet is here. Um, and, and you've been up at 6.30. We watched the end of the qualifying, I have to say, so I'm quite looking forward to... We actually, believe it or not, yes, the Wagar household will be getting up first thing in the morning to watch the uh, the Australian Grand Prix. We're actually, we're actually going to the Silverstone one this year in the UK. We've actually saved up and bought some tickets, so we're going to go see our first ever live Formula One in, at Silverstone then in July, something like that. I can't remember what it is. Um, anyway, there we go. Um, <laughs> Kelly Baglar is here as well. Good to see you, Kelly Baglar. Um, <laughs> um, as Norman Stanley Fletcher would sing, up where the toes are tapping, up where the jocks are strapping. <laughs> like that. Um, uh, we are here to sleep. <laughs> Have a good time. Apologies for that, Doctor. I'll do my best to send you off to the land of Nod. Um, Spartan N117 is here as well. The Landro is here as well. Excellent. So anyway, here we go. Right. Off we go uh, for Wing Commander... Uh, prophecy. Wing Commander 5, kind of, isn't it? But Wing Commander Prophecy. Um, let's see where we are. Da, da, da. Is it working? Yes. <laughs> right. Okay. So let's 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 go back and look at the save game to find out what <laughs> what, what happened previously on Wing Commander Prophecy. Um, right. Tell me if the in-game volume is too loud, by the way, or too soft, because it's difficult to tell from this end. Um, let's have a look at the console. So. Uh, right. Okay. So the history is. So we we saved Callisto, attacked some bugs, attacked some more bugs. The so smug bird got the boy. That was the end of the previous week's episode. So last week we rescued a pilot, we rescued the things, we blew up some stuff, rescued some cats. Hawk died, didn't he? Oh yeah, I forgot Hawk died. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He 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 did too much knife sharpening. That's always fatal in this game. Um, then we <laughs> then we destroyed the destroyer. Uh, last time on Wing Two Wagers, we got the property. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> I need some sort of little cutscenes, don't I? Um, and now the conclusion. Um, uh, and then we cleared some space, and <laughs> I've just put "they are death." I can't remember what that was. <laughs> they are death. Um, but anyway, there we go. Um, so, um, so uh, yeah. So th this game is pretty good graphically wise, I think. I just realised I'm going to need my my trusty my trusty thrustmaster to fly the ship. Uh, <laughs> um, 
Uh, we were lucky to get Silverstone in 2019. It was the, the, the best day ever. Yeah, yeah. so I'm looking forward to going, actually. I'm not, I'm not a super huge fan of Formula yeah. 1. I mean, I like cars, yeah. as you know, but um, it's the first weekend of July, is it? Okay, so that's... that's I bought some tickets. I yeah, the, the dates, <laughs> details. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, yeah, I have minions for that. No, I don't actually. But uh, I wish I did have some minions. Although I think organising minions is is probably quite as much hard work as just doing the thing yourself nowadays. Um, anyway, <laughs> let's crack on. I don't think there's anything for us to do in the rec room. No. Um, flight history terminal. Is that? That's. What we were doing, okay, yeah. Okay, so it's basically the briefing room. Okay, uh, right, crack on with space stuff. To the briefing room, let's go. I love the way they're all jostling and punching each other, friendly. <laughs> Gentlemen, let's get started, shall we? Check your ISIS for mission objectives. The aliens have pulled a significant portion of their fleet from the assault on Eloy and are attempting to pin the midway against this asteroid belt. Already, uh -huh. scanners detect multiple wings of inbound bogies closing on our Oh no! Bogies! <laughs> Although we have received word that Confed is sending reinforcements... Is that, what, is that what Maniac was picking out of his nose a moment ago? <laughs> we will be scrambling all available... That's why I'm supposed to be paying attention to the briefing. <laughs> Each wing will be responsible for a specific intercept zone, destroying all enemy fighters as they approach the midway. Your Alpha Wing's objective is to destroy all enemy forces present at Nav 1. Right, when so blow, st <laughs> blow stuff up, way. basically. <laughs> okay, nice straightforward mission. Destroy everything! <laughs> yeah, this is the sort of thing that we'd like to start the game with. Nothing too complicated while we're still waking up. Um, just get in there and destroy everything. Okay, that's that's nice and straightforward. Um, finding bogeys. <laughs> There's a bogey. There's a bogey. Ah, look. There's a bogey at the, the, the 12 o'clock high. <laughs> I still can't get over it. We discussed this before. It's not... It, it's a... It's a it's an RAF term, isn't it? Apparently, it's not. I, I assumed initially it was a, it was a, it was a, an American term, but it's not. <laughs> it's so where does where does bogey? It was I think it was an RAF term. Somebody somebody somewhere along the line told me it was an RAF term. I think, and the Americans then adopted it from us. Um, so it's a really odd word to use as a um, you know. <laughs> there's the enemy. There's the bogey. Uh, <laughs> It just makes me laugh because it's, it's obviously you know, everyone else knows what the alternative meaning of the word bogey is, as Maniac demonstrated for us. Um, and also Americans, and I think the British as well, refer to, and this is this is a complete waffle, apologies for this because we're supposed to be playing a space game. Um, but uh, <laughs> the on a train, the bit that connects, the, the twisty bit, I, I'm not being very technical here, the twisty bit that connects the carriage to the wheels at the front, so you don't have a solid axle, you have a twisty thing to allow carriages to go around corners. Um, that's called a bogey as well. <laughs> so your train runs on, is connected to the ground by bogeys. <laughs> Which I just, I just find hysterical, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just do. <laughs> uh, the, Okay, so bogey, bogey, military, and unidentified aircraft or missile, special one detected as a blip on a radar screen. Bogey is in bogeyman. Okay. Um, <laughs> so how, why are the trains then? Okay, why are the train carriage stuff? Why are they called bogeys? Somebody needs to find that out now. <laughs> Everybody in the chat frantically searching on Wikipedia. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. <laughs> Big Boo 5, I never knew that. You see, I turned up the... There you go, you see, it's random. Random, totally useless facts. <laughs> Bogey was an actor in the 1940s, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go and blow some stuff up. Very well. Get to it. Be careful out there. Dismissed. Dismissed. Why does she say gentlemen when there are clearly ladies in the audience as well? <laughs> this is a drill. This is a moment. We've been getting comms from a cat on Eloy. He says he's well acquainted with you and your hairless clan. Yeah, Hawk and I saved his ass. Well, in between insults, I get the distinct impression he'd like to return the favor. That would be strange. 
No doubt. It's a strange world, Lieutenant. What does that mean? Okay. <laughs> the best we could do is drop some letters off words that sound the same and generally claim to lazy English. <laughs> Mad Monk Soft has come in with the explanation here, this is good. Uh, what is a bogey in a train? A bogey is a structure underneath a railway vehicle body to which axles and wheels are attached through bearings. The term bogey is used in British English while a wheel truck or simply truck is used in... Oh, okay, so it's only the British who call them bogeys for some... <laughs> I don't know. Right, let me reacquaint myself with my amazing spaceship. Because I was playing, I've been playing a fair bit of flight simulator actually the last few days. Because I was flying around Scotland, familiarising myself with it. Um, which is really good. The flight simulator 2020 is so good now that you can actually just use it to tour around the places you fancy visiting to see what they're like. Um, um, that's, that's, that's the thruster, isn't it? Right, okay, so guns. Yeah, I remember I had to play this now. Missiles. Good. Okay. Um, why is it a <laughs> big boo five? Why still say world? It's a strange galaxy. It's a strange world. Yeah, we're not on the world, sir. We're on the spaceship. Haven't you noticed? <laughs> Good point. See? Context. Very important. Right. Here we go. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, well. Get it, best moments away. I think not. Piece of cake. Oh, the explosions are good, aren't they? For such an old game. I think I, I feel the graphics on this game really do hold up pretty well, even today. I mean, it's you know playing. Um, if you remember the old, the original um, Wing Commander One and Two, they really were a bit kind of like they were so low tech. I did, I did struggle with the graphics of it, but from Wing Commander Three onwards, totally, totally playable. And this, now it's you know in the early days of 3D graphics consideration, really is totally. I'm totally happy with it. I have no problems with the graphics at all. And I do wonder. You know, I've got this theory about modern games that they're slowed down in the delivery of their content so much because of the graphical fidelity that we demand nowadays. Whereas if we sort of set a bar and said, this is good enough, um, let's concentrate on the gameplay and not take the graphics to any higher level, you know, what, would, it, would it be doable? Well, the problem is, of course, that it's, a, it's an arms race, isn't it? Like anything else, is everybody competes on the quality of various different things. But the bar is so high now with you know photorealistic this that and the other high resolutions and super detailed textures and everything. But you know, you know the entry level to making a space game nowadays is, is really really high. And you, you can't. You have to have a massive team of modelers and graphic designers and texture artists and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, you know, that's why the indie games are so much fun. Because if you look at, I mean, how many polygons do you think that alien ship is? It's not that many, is it? I mean, you can see there are four or five flat surfaces there. There's a bit of positive light stuff going on. But it, it, it's a convincing enough representation of an alien bad ship from the perspective of <laughs> just blowing it away. Uh, return to base. The midway is under attack. Say again, all craft return to base. Return to base. We're under attack. We better do me deal with. It's all that there's a cat. Okay, good way under attack. Let's, let's deal with the man and get back home. He's vanquished. My kills grow more numerous. <laughs> to get right back to the midway. Da, 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 da. Make it fun first and pretty second. Yeah, what are you waiting true. for? Go get them. Quite a lot of the buggers here. My <laughs> wing, break and attack. What do you mean, bogeys? I'm not in a good mood today. <laughs> She's not. Looking for a real warrior? Try me. We are doomed. We are doomed. Come on, 
Yeah, and there's this, there's this thing, I mean, it's interesting to compare modern, modern games to old games, because if you look at the playthroughs I've done on the old games, like, um, you know, Frontier, Elite 2, Frontier First Encounters, um, and they, you know, and, and even Wing Commanders, you know, I mean, they're all very different, but notice how long it's taken me to play through their content. So, uh, Frontier Elite 2 and Frontier First Encounters were about eight to ten episodes each and then we kind of ran out of things to do because we've kind of done everything um the wing commander series are averaging about six to seven sort of two hour episodes as well and then you you basically played out the content um now if you compare that to modern games like the meat or star citizen or no man's sky um, you know, No Man's Sky about 31 episodes in. 31, so 62 hours of playing the game. And I don't really feel I've done justice to an awful lot of stuff in it at all yet. So there is, there is a lot more content. Now I haven't done a classic Elite Dangerous playthrough. Maybe I'll do that on the retro stream. It's in your stuff. But you know, Elite you know, certainly had a lot of, a lot of you know, yeah, if you, if you count, I mean, a lot of stuff in there I didn't like, and I didn't really like engineers, but um, you know, I did a bit of it. But, you know, if you count the Thargoids, if you count the Guardians content, if you count um, you know, exploration gameplay, a bit of pew-pew, upgrading your ship you know, to a degree, you know, going on the next position, there's hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of gameplay, right? Um, and Star Citizen, again, I've, I'm, I'm an earlier stage on that, and then there's just hours and hours and hours of things I've got to do in there. So there is more content in modern games than the older ones. So we do have to be a bit careful when we say the older games were better because um, that is tinged by a lot of nostalgia, <laughs> obviously. Um, so, you know, I, and I do love these older games, but they are, they, they don't last as long in an objective analysis in terms of, you know, how much gameplay there actually is in them. You know, obviously with a single player campaign, um, you know, once you complete the single player campaign, that's kind of it, isn't it? That's that's the, that's the issue with the Wing Commander game, that they, they are probably 10, 14 hours long. Um, I think that the problem with the other games is that we... Yeah, and, and even if I look at the original Elite, I think we... On the spectrum, which is where I started this retro stream. And there was about, I think we did about 12 episodes there because I really wanted to do absolutely everything and all the things I had not done when I was young. Um, which, which we did eventually do. We didn't get to Elite, but um, we got to So we could have probably got to Elite in a couple more sessions. Um, so, yeah, so there is, and there's, but there is that gating thing, isn't there? There is that gating thing that you can't do this until you've got that. So that's, that's one thing that is a, a, a very sensible observation, is some of the length of time it takes to do some of the stuff um, is, is stuck behind these, these gates where you have to do a thing for a certain length of time. And that may be something that you don't want to do, you don't enjoy doing. Pretty sure that one flew through the ship. Uh, Battery target destroyed. I think it's either. <laughs> Hitting the midway there rather than the enemy ship. Um, so, yeah, so the, the whole gating thing is an issue. Because it's kind of like you've got to do this. So, you're kind of engaged. In order to do the thing that you want to do, I don't know, go, ex go exploring, you have to do a whole bunch of other stuff that you don't really want to do in order to unlock the thing that allows you to do the thing that you want to do. And that isn't necessarily fun, although it does take time. And I suppose the age old thing, is that content or isn't it, is, is, is a question. Alpha 1, requesting landing clearance. Right. You save the midway again. Let's get into position, um, folks. My team. used to have more fun with games orders. when I was younger. Gameplay was better than today. So yeah, so the thing is about this. This this is fun all the time. You know, partly it's a bit of a laugh, you know, because it's a bit twee and a bit cliche, but it's, nice it's always fun, isn't Thank it? Thank you, sir. I only wish Hawk could have been here to see this. Yeah, well, Casey, he did. They never would have supported us if you hadn't helped him in the first place. 
fine job. Yeah, you've got the cats on side, everyone thinks we're good. That's good. Yay, high five. Right, there we go. Okay, so, oh, we got 97%. Get me. That's not bad. Um, the Iceman would have been proud. <laughs> yeah, he would. Um, everything, yeah, so, okay, just catching up with the chats. So, um, let's make it pretty first. Uh, fun first, pretty second is definitely the way it used to be. I used to have more fun with games when I was younger. The gameplay was better than today. So, the, the thing is, I think, uh, Mad Monksoft, you're quite right. The, what's a, the gameplay is more engaging more of the time. Yeah, the games probably were shorter, but they were always fun. You were, you were always having fun at all stages in the game. There wasn't this sort of, right, I've, gonna, I've got to do a thing now for like half an hour or two hours or three hours or a week in order to get the thing so I can start having fun. That's, that's what I don't like about modern gameplay. Um, um, so there we go, hang on a minute. I've, the chat's gone so far back, I can't see the top of it. Um, apologies for that. Um, everything looks phenomenal today, but feels so shallow. It, it does. Yeah, so the, you know, I, uh, you know, if you think about the, complexity of some of the missions in here so you know there's there's obviously the go pew pew missions but there are escort missions escort the marines wait around defend the thing mission gets changed jump jump up over here do those other things you know there's there's variety in there which modern space games seem to struggle with you know the depth of the missions that are provided um and more polished nowadays you can expect a patch on launch so yeah so uh, and i don't know i i'm not enough of a software developer to know how difficult all this stuff is but it does feel like the internet and the ability to patch things on the fly almost has become an excuse for not delivering a polished product at the point of sale you know we've seen so many things recently there are you know examples which i don't need to name um, of of stuff that is just isn't good enough when it's when it's when it's released you know i mean and then there have been problems with pre-internet games and you know patch discs provided in magazines but you know in general terms because you wasn't easy to patch anything you couldn't afford not to have it polished at release because it had to work and then there might be a few bugs that turned up along the way but yeah yeah so so that's things so speaking of indie games says Ritu81 uh, have you tried Wing Commander Saga it's a fan-made campaign based on the modified Free Space 2 engine no we should we should definitely check that out um, it's set in the final months of the Earth Karathi War, so that's quite good. DJ Scooby, I've always favoured gameplay over graphics. Me too, absolutely me too. Um, do you need to do a mini version of Code of the Bogey while keeping it straight face? <laughs> um, it, uh, Elite Dangerous relies too much on grind loops. That is definitely true, um, which is which is a shame. If there was no time gate into the content, excluding time travel, each content is is isn't isn't very. It's not so much. No, you are quite agree. There's so much delay built in. Um, David AVT subscribe. Thank you very much, David AVT. Good to see you. Um, it's primarily engineering. That's why stretches a bulk of your meetings and law finding ability. If that wasn't present, you'd blaze through to the bottom and just be where AXI is hunt for the sake of board. Yeah. So, it, and that's not very imaginative gameplay. That's my that's my critique. Um, uh, no Man's Sky live ship quest is time gated twenty hours between each stage. So that's annoying. That that shouldn't really be the case because No Man's Sky is, I find, pretty good at. Uh, 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 pushing the content along. It's got a very good single player story in it as well, but all the other stuff that you want to do doesn't, it doesn't take that long to do it. You know, I can build up things for a base and I'll go, okay, I've got to gather some materials and various other bits and pieces, but most of that is actually quite good. And the game seems to keep a track of what you're doing and go, ah, so you're, you're after some cadmium, are you? You probably, you can't, you probably want to go in that direction over there, then you? maybe you'll find some. And the, the, the game has, you know, the scanners and the ability to find things on the galaxy map inside No Man's Sky really easily. It says, okay, I mean, I was playing it um, on Thursday and said, okay, we need to find a red star. So I open up the galaxy map and boom, oh, look, there's a red star, you know. <laughs> It's like, there's probably a planet in this system with some cadmium on it, scan. Oh, look, there's a planet over there with some cadmium on it. You know, it maybe it was almost too easy, but it was kind of leading me so that I didn't have to waste time searching for stuff in a kind of fruitless way. So there is a, there is a balance between hand holding and, you know, the challenge of actually managing to achieve something, which I do understand, but it, it, and it seems to be very hard to find that 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 fiddle, uh, that that the fiddle, that middle line between the two. Um, <laughs> um, and a pat on the back from Rachel. Yeah, one thing about Elite is there's no skipping the grind. Yeah, so that's games that do. You always have that in the back of mind. Are they making this delay longer to force me to pay for it? Yeah, so. Uh, you know, in a universe where you can't, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. This is what's annoying. There's no logical consistency in Elite. You know, you need to get some iron. Well, iron's like, 
a super cheap available material. Why do I have to pick it up from a moon when I should just be able to go to some sort of a space station depot and say, can I have a ton of iron, please? Sure you can, sir. But no, you have to go to a moon and mine it in very, very small amounts because <laughs> magic space reasons. Um, <laughs> I don't like that. That really irritates me because it doesn't make any sense at all. It's gamification of a, of a thing. Um, Anyway, good morning, Lucky Luigi. Hello, good to see you. Uh, Rachel just grabbed squirrel and you cut to the same screen. I know, did I? I missed that. Um, all of answers seem to be just graphic. Gameplay hasn't kept up. Never buy anything on release. This is probably good advice nowadays. More complexity deadlines is a bad combination. In the pre-internet era, if the game must be delayed, it gets delayed, yeah. Um, but is No Man's Sky hand-holding? Well, yeah, so you're, you're quite right, Mad Monk. So it, it almost feels a little bit too easy at times, um, No Man's Sky. Um, so uh, a big boo was surprised by the gate the time gating in the living ship quest nowhere else in the game does that what's the point what's the point of time gating it because for a casual player who logs in and get, logs off it doesn't really matter for for, for a more dedicated player that's just going to be irritating uh, <laughs> but in today's sports day you get you get medals for the first place <laughs> well done you, you turned up it's like because live ship modules need to grow and mature. Ah, okay, that might kind of kind of makes sense, I suppose. Um, roll in the end credits and saying thank you for playing without fighting the boss. <laughs> Just skip to the end again. A giant win button. Um, and I understand the criticism in both directions, but um, it's I don't know. Yeah, it's it's not the same, is it? It's not the same. I suppose that's my critique. Right. Anyway, so we have engaged and destroyed the fighters and defended the midway, and we've done very very well indeed. Everybody is happy with us. Smiley faces around. Well, nobody else has to go into the decom apart from me. <laughs> what is that? Go into the Gamar system. Or the Gamar system. I don't know. Uh, it's all about the daily login counter, makes it look like higher sustainable player numbers. So it's all, it's all an act. Right, okay, so is anything going on in the bar? I thought that was um, Hawk there for a moment, but it isn't. Is that decom? I always thought it was an elevator. Maybe it is. <laughs> It's just an elevator. <laughs> Apparently I'm contaminated. <laughs> yeah. It's my whole life a lie. I'm not sure I can answer that one, hero. <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. Right, let's save the game. Um, they are death. Right, so click here for a new save. Um, zapped bugs. I still don't, I still don't really, I mean, uh, unless I've missed something on the way through this um, thing, uh, I'm not entirely sure why we're at war with these bugs yet. <laughs> I mean, I know they basically decided that we are to be purged, but <laughs> it's just, a, it's just, a, it's just a fight, you know, it's just a war with no obvious, um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> They don't, they don't seem to have a particular objective, these bugs, other than they want to destroy everything. So they're a pretty thin alien species in terms of their, their, their motivations and their kind of law narrative thing. Is We are here to destroy you. It's just basically space invaders. Um, um, okay, so they came to destroy the Kilrathi. Uh, but why? why? <laughs> it's an awful, you know, it's, it's an awful lot of trouble to go to to wipe out an alien civilization. So you, you need to... <laughs> You need to you need to have a reason for spending all that, you know. Just we fancy wiping out another alien space civilization isn't really enough of a justification for all of this military activity, is it? Um, so <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway, um, okay. So why are we doing this? Because we're at war. Why are we at war? Because we are. <laughs> Seems to be pretty much. <laughs> only, only good bug is a blatted bug. Uh, why didn't they turn up in Wing Commander 1, 2 and 3 with the same... Exactly! <laughs> if they turned up a bit earlier... <laughs> Bugs kill cats, cats kill us, we kill everything. Yes, that's pretty much how it... Okay, so that's the story then. Alright, right. the rest of you please be seated. We have a lot of work to do. The rest of you please be seated. Is, 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 is there somebody who isn't or is already seated? Sorry, I'm being cynical now. In this system, which is capable of broadcasting as far as the Kilraw system. Okay. Although the Midway is temporarily scrambling alien transmissions to the COM array, 
This station must be rendered inoperable to protect our advances into alien-held territory. Due to the importance of the target, the aliens have established a significant defensive presence in this system. In order to reduce these forces, we will attempt to lure them into an ambush by feigning an attack on the relay station. Oh, cunning. Your alpha wing will lead an assault force of Shrike bombers to the comm station, where you will attempt to destroy its transmitter arrays. Bravo and Charlie wings will protect your flanks. When the enemies counterattack, you will be recalled to the midway, here at the Talon Mep jump point. The carrier TCS Ison has taken up a position. Oh, they named the, the carrier after Ison. Excellent. Send members of the Wolfpack squadron through the jump, closing the trap. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, well, that's All quite a cool mission. Are destroyed. You will be cleared for landing. So we've got to actually fake an attack. <laughs> that's, yeah, we did. It's a bit more sophisticated. I quite like that. Briefing concluded. Right, okay, off we go then. Understood. Dismissed. It doesn't really get to do anything other than introduce the uh, the briefing on the iPad, does she? Rendered inoperable, just say blow it up, yeah. <laughs> That's really deep for early on Saturday morning. Wow, you've got to start somewhere, Big Boo. Frankie said war <laughs> was good for nothing, absolutely nothing. Yeah, exactly right. Uh, time to fly the heavy shrikes. Right, is this the one? Oh, the shrikes. Yeah, so what have we got on board the shrike? We've got dragonflies, ah, oh, porcupine, firestorm thingies, dumb fires. Okay, yeah, I quite like this ship. Is this the one with the storm fire? Yes, I like the storm fire. Yeah, so the complexity of the missions occasionally is she's head of the PowerPoint department. <laughs> Um, I think Jason Bernard had passed away at this point, so they were paid respects by name. Oh, did they? Has he died? Yes, because he did die young-ish, didn't he? I do remember somebody saying that. How do we fake the attack? Just fly and hurl insults at them. All right, it's time to do our jobs. Let's do, let's do our job. You got it, sir. Okay. Wide awake now, lads. They're on us. Transmitting target data. Switch to my target. Well, right. yeah. Indeed. You are nothing like torpedo. Leave me alone. Come meet the maniac, uglies. We're unstoppable. We are totally unstoppable. Alright, how do I lock onto the supplementary target? That's what I haven't quite figured out yet. Oh no, it's locking on anyway. There we go. Okay, so... Torpedoes away, I think. Just blow up. I don't think my torpedo actually broke. There you go. Okay, let's fire torpedoes. Torpedoes away! Where? Wait, I see him. Somebody get this guy. Going for a little space ball. We've got him by the balls. Boom! Okay, I'm not quite sure I'm. Aiming at, but uh, it seems to be easy. Hit quite badly. Oh no, I'm damaged. Blue straight in level too long. I'm still alive. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Right, oh, shields are back up. They're supposed to keep me off their target. What happened there? I got him. <laughs> to the bug temple. I don't know. I mean. It's that's a question. I think we discussed this the other week, actually. <laughs> I think there was a, a positive answer to this or something. I can't remember quite what the details were, but... Boom! Oh. Have I destroyed everything? Withdraw to the jump point and await reinforcements. Did you see that? Whoa! Heads up, Casey! We've got company! Why do you resist? Why? Ah, uh, we're humans. How do we get to the jump point? I still got the stuff to go on. What target? What target? I don't know what else is going to go. Where is the target? 
Where's the jump point, I suppose? Lieutenant Casey, fall back to the ambush area now. I'm trying to. Where is the ambush area? I need something on my hub that tells me the ambush oh, area is. <laughs> See, I'm not getting anything that tells me where to. You shall pay for this. Where am I supposed to go to? I am falling back. I'm under attack. There's nothing on the hub which is telling me where to go. I'm just going to keep blowing things up. Where am I supposed to go? Doesn't make any sense. Don't hold your hand, no. I don't know what to do! Let's get the fire stuff. Yeah. Okay, well I died. There we go. I have died. <laughs> Hit N for nav points. Okay, maybe I was missing something. Let's try, let's try that again then. <sighs> okay. It's a cool mission. Sometimes it needs to be a bit clearer on the HUD. Okay, <laughs> okay, hit N for nav points. Okay, so let's try that. <laughs> Resistance is futile. Oh, sorry, wrong, fr wrong franchise. <laughs> it clears the... I can do it. I will, uh, yeah. Okay, but I need to know where to retreat to. Let's go for the... There's the light torpedo, that's what we need to attack the base. Okay, now those other guys should be clearing, defending our flanks. I don't think they were doing a particularly good job of that, were they? Oh, my wing, break and attack. I bet you die before I do. You're the boss. I like it when bugs go crunch. <laughs> I like it Stay when bugs tight. go crunch. Stay tight, whatever that means. Stay on target, I guess. We've discussed that one before as well. They do have some funny... Oh, I can see them coming in. So there they are, look, up there. Good to boost. Ow, 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 stop chucking that stuff at me. We shall never be stopped. This is your problem. Oh, Took it away. Boom! It's not like a torpedo the way. Boom! He goes into the blackness. Come and get a roll of this! Up in smoke! You guys are just way too uptight! Didn't expect that, did you, Bug? Bug. No. Stay tight, this is stay out of range range and look like it He has failed! <laughs> stay tight should just be the wind up bar. <laughs> How's everything going? We're, we're tight, Commander. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Enemy counterattack is imminent. Withdraw to the jump point and await reinforcements. Right. Heads okay. up, people! Here comes the cavalry. Thank you. Uh, thank one you one very much. Right. right. Okay. End for nav point. Nav one selected. It's over there. Right. Okay. So I'm now thrusting at full speed for the nav point. And I'm under attack. Oh. Stop shooting at my ship. Okay, so I'm at the nav point. Okay, falling back to the nav point. Is it nav one we're supposed to be at? 
There is only nav one. There is only nav one, literally. I am at. But what are we supposed to do? We're getting chewed up. Bit of storm I am at the nav point now. Oh, the shreds here. Oh, shoot you my ship. And away. Ship will get shoot pieces. Away and you can't do that while the fight is doing that's that's bad mission design that's not that's not what I was told to do I was told that the other wings would deal with the the fighters I was supposed to double attack on the space station which I did I followed my orders okay so let's see if we can clear out the trash shall we if you will give me leave. Sir, if you need me, I'm right here. Just let me know when you get bored. Teach your mother to suck eggs, the insect. Transmitting target data. Switch to my target. That's a fire. All right. Sure, you have no match for me. Strike one. The fogs check in, but they don't check out. You're sorry, I had to have this. Oh, yes, sir. Are not really well designed to do with these things. People not following orders. <laughs> yeah, I was just following orders. Can't be a hero. Yeah, I know. Okay, so I've, I've, I've got to do everybody's job, basically. That's what you're saying. Means nothing, but it did look pretty. Not what I'll call pristine. They can't stop me. I'm king. Alright, there's only one bug then. Got one! Yeah, right, now. Where's the there's the nav for midway nav? Right now we're going to the Circle up the wagons. My people, form on me. Basically, no plan survives contacting the enemy. Oh no, I'm dying again. again. Okay. <laughs> okay. So basically, deal with the deal with the enemy um, bugs first because your your other wings aren't doing their job properly. <laughs> okay. All right. The rest of you. So, don't assume your teammates are competent. Understood. <laughs> what level am I? I think I'm on an easy level. Mad monks off. I think that's the problem. Uh... <laughs> CS Digital Design, first time chat. Old school AI. Yeah, it's basically attack the player, is basically what the AI seems to be. Ignore everything else that's going on. AI wingmen have never been competent in any of these sort of games. No, this is very true. Right, so let's. I like the Stormfire just because it looks cool. I know it's not the most powerful of weapons. And the Dragonflies are fun. Right, so let's take out the enemy fighters because our fighter escort is rubbish. Oh, Otherwise, we get you to pieces. Could be a bit tight here. Coordinate your attacks on this target. Could be a bit tight here. Keep tight. Indeed. Tight is good, apparently. Piece of cake. I don't get paid enough for this. 
those ones straight on, they're just insane. Fire ammo. No. So I've got these really slow guns now. Which are quite powerful. Oh, they're hard to do. Favor. 
Of course, may the odds always be in our favour. Right. I think I should probably just out of safety reasons. This zone is clear. Assume your information at once. My people, form on me. Yes, we definitely need to. I'm just gonna target something, because otherwise I've got a feeling um the game might go, hey, you didn't attack the space station. Because you know what these games are like. Well, now I've just killed the rock. Looks like we're heading for the hornet's nest. I'm just going to sit here and blow some stuff up. Something so satisfied about leading the target. Yeah, no, it is. Oh, there we go. Let's blow some stuff up. You do some hard time and yeah, the Star Citizen. I went to jail. My comrades, make your attacks. All craft and I wing, break and attack. That one's done for. Well, let's see how tough you bugs are. Oh, look, bugs coming through hyperspace. That was quite cool. Just wait till I'm done with you. Why well, didn't I think that? That's affirmative. Heads up, people. Here comes the cavalry. Bugs. See if we can get through this mission. We shall never be stopped. Yes, you will. Gonna crack you like a peanut, bug. Sit there. Not a good way to avoid my fire, just trying to run away. Very bad. <laughs> Defensive AI, they're not quite sure what they're doing, just sitting still. What's that fuel meter? Oh yeah, I'm out of fuel. That's because I have to I use full throttle in order to try and keep up with everything. I'm out of fuel. I'm not, I'm not quite in my main space in. You guys don't quit, do you? Uh, looks like the guys have got it now. One down. Oh, All Yay, eyes from did. the Wolfpack Squadron. You're being transferred to the Midway effective immediately. Your nav coordinates are being updated to reflect your new destination. Welcome Sounds to like the attack didn't quite go to plan. The zone is clear. Assume your information at once. My ah, people, it's not very me. On board. That's affirmative. This takes me oh, back to yeah. Chris H. Uh, no, this is the... The scout data we have on the unidentified aggressors embedded into the mission profile for the simulator. It should give you an accurate recreation Squirrel. of their technology and fighting tactics. I'm hoping that it'll also give you an extra edge the next time you meet up with them. Fine! Mission yeah. failed. Oh, well. It is a fact that sometimes we must fail, no? Alpha <laughs> 1 requesting landing clearance. Okay, so now we'll get to a proper mission get briefing. We'll... Down. You'll get one more run at it. You're cleared. Okay, so we didn't attack the space station enough, did we? Because it's going to give us the briefing that we should have had at the end here. <laughs> We've commented on this before. It gives us the really detailed evaluation at the end, <laughs> which tells us uh, tells us what we were <laughs> we did wrong. The Ice Man. You'll be lucky to stay on the flight roster. <laughs> Unless your performance picks up, Lieutenant. <laughs> well, I so I was a hero a moment ago, and now I'm just an yeah. idiot kid at the bottom of the. <laughs> This is Blair Licky or Flirty Flirty, yes we go. So Chris H, yes, no, this is after the Kilrathi War. This is Wing Commander Prophecy. So, okay, so destroy the radar. So, okay, so we had to do that as well. 
ambush remaining alien fleet. Uh, see, I knew we had to do that, but I, I thought I'd done enough, but obviously not. Um, <laughs> I know what went wrong. <laughs> Typical Chris Roberts game. You suck. Get good. <laughs> Replay value. Now you know the proper requirements. You see, this is the thing. The brief. <laughs> Briefing was really dodgy, wasn't it? And I tried to do what the briefing said I would do, and I got killed because um, there's a part on the station called the radar array. I was hitting the antennas. <sighs> See, uh, gosh, I'm not sure I played those ones. Yeah, no. So this is this is just after Wing Command. This is effectively Wing Commander Five, Chris. Um, <laughs> It's just, it's just crazy stuff. Um, hi Drew, after your stream, I'm streaming the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. If you'd like to join me, uh, yes, uh, DJ, we will, we will, we will do a raid at the end. That would be really cool. Um, um, I have, I've actually, believe it or not, I've got to go to a party today. Um, but um, um, the rest of you are more than welcome to jump across the DJ's Scrimmy stream. You can cycle through sub targets on big targets with a key that I do not remember. <laughs> That's ancient keybinds of law. Um, <laughs> I know where my tower is, is with Dimitri. Excellent. <laughs> uh, okay, well, yeah, we can't win the ball, can we? Let's let's go. Um, you're an ace pilot, man. You don't need briefings. <laughs> exactly, yeah. All right. Into the lift decon thingy. Okay, nothing going on in here. So, okay, so we... Oh, have we got Mania? You look like you've seen a ghost. Two of them, Vanguard and Cantrail, two rookies I took out today. They pull a frontal in front of a bunch of fighter clusters, boom, gone. It happens. It's never happened to me, all right? I charge a hundred clusters, I, I never get a scratch. And you can't see why your luck didn't cover those rookies. It's not about luck, Major. It's about the one thing that matters. And that is that you did the best you could to help those rookies survive, which is all a good squadron commander can ever do. That's supposed to make me feel better. It does. Almost. Good. Low bridge. Oh, all pilots. <laughs> oh, he's going to say something nasty to Maniac. Um, oh, Maniac, Jeez. at least a persistent character, yes. I, this um, game is just a collection of tropes with a bit of pew pew in between. It is, kind of, really. Okay, so R, uh, Retu81, top tip R cycles sub components. Right, I'll try to remember that. R, because <laughs> cycling sub components is obviously an R key, isn't it? Um, okay, so, right, save current game. Right. Failed. Oh, okay, that's cool. they, they, I love the computer typing still. <laughs> Failed miserably. <laughs> uh, right, okay, so we'll bear that in mind for the future. Let's carry let's carry on. We've a crucial time in this conflict. The good news is, thanks to Lieutenant Commander Finley's work, we are now able to jam the alien comms so they yeah, can't not, call not Commander help. Casey's work, he was rubbish. However, it is imperative that all remnants of the alien attack force be eliminated. Oh, this is stuff we can do, just kill the bugs. Files. Okay. Due to our <laughs> you need to destroy the enemy turrets if you want to be a good part. R, it is. The aliens <laughs> may still be able to establish contact with their primary fleet. Well, at least they've been generous saying our attack. Still scrambling transmissions, our equipment is less than adequate, and the aliens could break through at any time. While continuing to block their communications, the Midway is also moving into position to block the Hursic jump point and prevent enemy forces from sending a ship to warn their fleet. Cool. Your Alpha Wing will conduct a two-part mission. Patrol these nav points. Eliminating any and all alien vessels. Be certain that no ships are able to flee. Right, so basically this is a, this is more our sort of type of mission, isn't it? Kill everything, don't let anything escape. We're good. We're good with this. This is, this is something we can do. Oh no! Eliminating any remaining defenders at the station. 
Right, so blow everything up and disable the thing again. Okay, so we get a, <laughs> get a chance to do this. <laughs> Excellent. Right, okay, so don't <laughs> leave no stone unturned. <laughs> Let leave no bugs unsplatted and destroy anything that needs destroying. <laughs> everything must die, basically, is what we're talking about here. Hey, and space tea has arrived because my youngest number one son. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much, sir. No worries. Yay, yeah, space tea. Space tea, that's what we need. That's that's what we've been missing, isn't it? Space tea. You see, if we don't have space tea, we fail. It's the magic properties of space tea is that's where we're at. <laughs> Regor79, first time chat, a blast from the past. I stick with the stream. Good morning. Good morning to you, Regor79. Um, we are playing <laughs> not particularly well when, <laughs> when Kimball the Prophecy. Um, Remember, right. if any alien ships are allowed to escape, they could alert their main force that Confed reinforcements have entered this system and we may not survive that. I want them hunted down. Every, Every single, single one. one. Do you read me? <laughs> Very well. Dismissed. <laughs> Every single one. But everybody has to run because that's important. Kill everything in the entire world. <laughs> um, the <laughs> The funny thing, if one of the alien ships escaped, it might alert the rest of um, their forces that we're here. It's like, if an alien ship escapes, isn't it 100% certain if we that it's going to alert the, the aliens to our presence? I mean, is there going to be a situation where an enemy ship escapes and goes, you know what, I'm not going to let the rest of my guys know about the alien invasion that's coming. Nah, it'll be fine. Let's <laughs> just stop. Bad writing. She did. Actually, she actually did do her, did do a briefing today. Um, all right, what are we flying? We are flying. Oh, just an attack watch. Okay, so let's just go kill stuff. Right, we can do this. We can do this. Yeah. <laughs> Color. This zone right. is hot. Attack. Repeat. Heavy enemy contact. Coordinate your attacks on this target. Affirmative. Righto. You betcha. Alien contact. Repeat. Alien vessels are approaching. <laughs> Alien vessels are approaching. I did not realize that. With <laughs> the attack, did not know. Guys, there's alien vessels here. Is there really? Go on, practice ring. Oh, we're doing that. Come on, I want to practice ring on screen. Come on, practice ring, practice ring, practice ring. Maybe it doesn't do it when you're too close. I must give some exposition. It's extremely important to the plot. <laughs> Look at the fighter pilots and things like that. Oh, practice ring. There we go. I'm happy now. <laughs> I am severely damaged. I must eject now. I am now ejecting. I have ejected. Yes. 
the missiles of this game are very, very photogenic for 1997, aren't they? Where's the enemy ship? Let's go deal with that. Torpedo on the way. He's now down. Bridge has been destroyed. What can we do against this? Have we got anything heavy duty on? We've got friendly oh, yeah. foes on. That's all we've got. Assume formation. If you say so. If that's what you want. We we'll we'll blew it up. Oh, no, there it is. Um, four years of acting school has prepared me to deliver this dramatic line. <laughs> Give <him> hell. <laughs> Zone is hot. Repeat the key radio silence. Contact. Switching target modes. No idea. Couldn't hit the broad side Good of try. the board. Try. Get him to shut up. Maintain radio silence. They didn't seem to be very good at that, did they? Put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> your pipe and smoke it. It's like really? <laughs> in the 24th century, or wherever we are. More red dots. There's there's red things moving towards the green things. Find the foes. It's just Any available pilot, please assist. Shot that in that direction. Ejection is the better part of valor. <laughs> Ejection is the better part of valor. I like that. You are nothing before us. Something's going down. They're chewing me up. I'm gonna need a little bit of help here. Guess I'm gonna visit the vacuum. Ejecting. Oh no. Let's see Can't touch this. <laughs> it. Stop! It's hammer time! <laughs> oh, I'm laughing too much, I can't shoot. <laughs> oh dear, that was funny. Must have been. When was that? Was that early nineties? It was, wasn't it? Hammer time. Did he fall into a ship? Keep your eyes open. Out loud there, so. <laughs> Somebody tells me your superiors. I'm constantly questioning how you keep coming back from those suicide missions. <laughs> ah, 
idea. <laughs> right, now what are we going to do? This hot. Repeat, heavy enemy contact. Right, so let's just press... Oh, well, you can cycle. You were quite correct. Uh, whoever gave me that tip, it does work. Okay, so what have we got to... Apart from the fact there's a billion bugs about. Let's get rid of the bugs first, and then we'll run an attack on the space station. I don't give you really enough audience for these missions, I don't feel. So it's something I could do with, like, three or four ships worth of missiles. It's up to me to pace myself a bit through the mission, but of course you don't have any waves and badges you, you're facing, so it's difficult to pace your missile usage. Because I don't, uh, you know, if I don't use all my missiles, I don't feel like I'm doing my job. Really. But sometimes I use all my missiles. Game's over for you, bug. What swamp did you crawl out of? Yeah, they can really, they've got a kind of like combined weaponry, which is super powerful, which is quite dangerous, actually. Individually, they're pretty easy, but when they come together like that, you do watch it. <laughs> Magic translators. Oh, no, there was actually a law mission. There was a mission early on that we managed to intercept some stuff to translate the alien you speak in the first few episodes, we couldn't understand them, so there, there was a... a <laughs> what the... Uh, sorry, it's going to be a thing every time that guy says that now. It's Habitat. <laughs> uh, so funny. They must have known, surely, because this is 97. And it was like, when was, when was MC Hammond's Can't Touch Me? Was it 91? 92? Somewhere around there? Somebody quickly needs to go on Google and find out. It must have been early 90s. Um, MC Hammond's Can't Touch Me. Um, is it late 80s? I don't know. Um, Take him out the trash. I'm a bit worried that we have to kill something here. Okay, so we've got an antenna, that's all I've got. Locking on target. It was 89. I don't 
not got any missiles left, I've got nothing heavy. Just the good guns. Friendly bomber just did some take care of the station, that's good. Just stop it maybe. Should be in here. Disable this this ship. I don't think my guns are doing anything to it. Let's get the full blast. How do I um transfer more power again into my fighter guns can't penetrate shields? Torpedo on the way. Nice. Looks like he's done it. Bridge and destroyed. Yeah, you've got to destroy this ship. Dude. Not that one. Oh yeah, I am good. Go. Please have another missile. Right, maybe I can stop the tank. Coordinate your attacks are started. There we go. I don't think so. That is impossible, sir. You wish. <laughs> oh! Attack my target, dudes! Give me a hand with this target! I don't think so! <laughs> that is impossible, sir! You wish! <laughs> this this might not be going too well. The only bomb that has a gun that can hurt hard points is a devastator. <sighs> so I'm stuffed. Unless one of these guys has got a missile. Also a problem. This is nothing I can do about this. It's not my job to manage the torpedoes. Engines are disabled. Oh, he's done it. Oh, <laughs> he has in fact totally blown the back of the ship off. <laughs> okay, that's good. No, it's my job to protect the bombers. I suppose it was. Okay, so he's disabled the engines. This is good. Has he got anything else left? Okay, he's flying around. He's, he's coming about. Has he got another? <laughs> is it Q to take it? No, Q is roll. Done it. Taking a long time to sort it out. There's the torpedo. It's coming in to get the bridge. Oh. Bridge hit and destroyed. Yes. So that must be it. Yes. Oh yeah, I am good. Assume formation. <laughs> yeah, it took a long time to do it then. Mission accomplished, sir. Mission accomplished. Let's go back for the TM this. Looks like an alien mob. Let's wade in. I'm gonna rip the shell off. 
T-Bone responded with, I uh, can't do that, so and then exact, that's exactly what he did. But, I am in need of assistance. I feel the need, the need for assistance. Insect sound effects almost do sound like a sort of weird space insect sort of sting. It's, it's quite a good sound. Music going on. All clear in this zone. Ah, there we go. Instinct Rose and the group are wingman killers. Yeah, they are, aren't they? They're, they're very powerful, those things. Especially when days and story missions are stopped. Looks like they weren't able to get word to their fleet. We'll be in good position to take on their main force. Yay, we succeeded! <laughs> You're cleared. Nice. Engaging automatic landing. Eh, right. The Ice Man would have been proud. I think how in games and films everyone has a cool call sign. In real life, you usually earn the call sign by screwing up. That's why I call myself Screw. Fine work, Casey. Yeah. I want you to know I've decided to recommend you for the Confed Flying Cross. Oh. Thank you very much, sir. Don't let it go to your head, mister. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Computer with flashing lights has flashing lights. Yeah, oh, we failed. Oh, <laughs> protect Alpha Wing during patrol. Uh, right, okay, so most of my wingmen are dead, but the mission was a success. Yeah, that's the main thing. <laughs> eliminate, protect Alpha Wing during patrol. Oh, sorry, I thought that said eliminate Alpha Wing during patrol. <laughs> mission time at 21 minutes. It was a long old mission, wasn't it? <laughs> Look at my gunnery skills. Hit 505. Yay! Fired! <laughs> 1580. <laughs> uh, these are all my missiles hit. That's a long old time. 21 minutes for one mission. Wow. You can turn sure. I could sure. Listen. Did you? <laughs> Poor old maniac. <laughs> Why isn't there anything happening in the bar? There's no cutscenes at all. They, they just ran out of budget by this point of the game. <laughs> Most of those minutes just waiting for the bobbers to do their job. That's very true, actually. <laughs> in earlier Wing Commander games, if you lost too many wingmen, you'd be flying alone pretty quick. So how, how are we doing, wingmen? Okay, so we have we have lost a few. We've lost Viking, we've lost Ninja, and obviously we lost Hawk. Um, so, oh, so we're now Wolfpack, aren't we? Uh, Wolfpack is active. Diamonds. Who are we with now? Are we the Black Widows? Yeah, Squirrel. Okay, so I've killed 361 bugs. 
the maniacs dropped into third place. Uh, there we go. 7,171. <laughs> Excellent. Huff and puff. Yeah. Was that, was that, was there a huff and puff in there? Where was that? Oh, there's roulette. Okay, we heard her. I didn't see a huff and puff in there. Um, <laughs> keeping the set nice for the next wing commander. Yeah, exactly right. Okay, so that was that was successful. So, uh, um, um, wiped out comms. Okay, I think that's close enough. <laughs> Failed visually. Um, right. Okay. Onwards we go. Right. Um, oh, the marines are back. That means it's a complicated. Insert mission. As you were. A live feed's coming in from a spy eye position near a main alien base. You all need to see this. Our analysis indicates that this is one of two seemingly identical ships that attacked the Kilrathi fleet in the Horeca system. This one appears to be in dry dock. We think the cats may have damaged this alien ship before they were wiped out. This is what a concentrated plasma weapon can do to a fleet. Chain reaction, nice. Either we stop this ship killer or midway's next on the menu. Commander, pilots, <laughs> stick skip check your eyes. Again. It's a dry dock in space, yes. It's a sort of <laughs> extremely dry dock. Provide cover for the LC while the Marines dock and attempt to secure the vessel. Ah, it's an escort mission. We like those. The ship killer is secured. We will escort the marine craft back to the midway. So if we capture the ship killer, can we use the ship killer to kill ships? And then, the, then, then of course, the question is, um, how many ships can a ship killer ship? A ship <laughs> how many ships can a ship killer kill if a ship killer can, can kill ships? <laughs> That's the question we need answering. <laughs> of course, the answer is, that um, a ship killer will kill all the ships a ship killer can kill if a ship killer can kill ships. Paddy McGinty's just put his hands in his <laughs> How many ships can a ship kill a ship? <laughs> Try saying that after a few drinks. <laughs> Try saying that after just having a cup of tea. Intelligence reports indicate enemy opposition will probably be heavy. Watch your backs out there, people. Watch your fronts as well. <laughs> I'm going to be watching my front because uh, what was that in the space tea again? Just so getting back there. <laughs> Drew's got too much pure oxygen in this pilot's fit. <laughs> Uh, right, let's go kill some bugs and some escorts. Oh, see, this is why it's fun to do these streams, because you don't have to take them too seriously. Um. <laughs> take out the defences around the ship killer or the marines will be cut to ribbons before they land. Oh, so this is extra Delta briefing lead. just to be clear. We've got some sort of faint homing signal coming from nearby. Delta lead, go ahead and check it out, then report back to me. Lieutenant Commander, it's some kind of distress beacon. My computer says it's from a Confed ship, but it's certainly not a newer model. I'm bringing it home. Okay, so Let's there's see a distraction going on. Stop us. It's still going on. Here we go. Space brownies. <laughs> it's a trap! Yes, it's a oh, here. That thing's bigger than I thought! Looky what we have here. Let's wax those little turrets, Casey! I hear that all the time. Coordinate your attacks on this target. Sure you do, Maniac. Then you wake up. <laughs> we big trouble. I hear it away. You're the boss. No, sir. You know the drill. Go get him. Gotcha. I see him. I saw eyes up for the shot. <laughs> Oh, 
much as I like to start the fire, I'm going to save that for later because it's just not powerful enough. Marine 2 requesting assistance, we're taking fire. We'll clear, the, clear the air, folks. Message out across the sky. Do 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 do. Proper Saturday morning stuff that was. Brian May and Eddie Van Halen did a cover version of that song. Can you believe that? I've got it on. Um, I've got it on vinyl. It's just it's insanely good. <laughs> a nice piece of trivia for you Saturday morning. Eddie Van Halen does a cover of, of, of the space theme. And Brian May of course would say, why are you just sitting there, you crazy alien dude thing? Take out the fighters, all of them. All the turrets, we need to take some of those turrets. How many turrets were on this thing? Too many, by the sound of it. You shall pay for this. You are nothing before us. It's giving us a lot of stuff to do, isn't it? Let's see how you like this missile, bug. Remain calm, my friends. You guys don't quit, do you? Ouch! Oh, that's got her! One torpedo coming right up! I'm on that one, sir, me! And I'm Barry Hercules. <laughs> Close. Transport's gonna get shredded, yeah. We need turrets to... don't seem to like me! Alright, where are these stretched turrets? Let's see if we can take some of these out. Is that a turret? I report turret. one enemy casualty, sir! To the space station. Oh, they're in. Excellent. Yeah, 
can go as superior or team here, buddy. I'm on that one, sir. Me. He's dead. That's what you want, sir. We better break off an attack. Is it, where's the ship's engines? Oh, it's on the other side of the ship, I think. Uh, okay. Oh. Can't get to the ship. Oh, we the engines. Oh, the engines. Let's get the back. Fire. Where's the engine? Oh, I've got the engine. That's it, target eliminated, sir. Oh no, I got caught the end of the ship. Oh, it's, it's all gone wrong! <laughs> the dry dock arm is in the way. <laughs> I didn't see the dry dock arm. <laughs> Incredible what they did in this game with the 90s real life cutscenes, CGI cutscenes blend right in the quadruple. It's, 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 it's good, it is, it is fun. You're quite right, flexible. Though. Uh, <laughs> the acting was better in X Bomber. <laughs> right, we better try that again. Um, right, so. Okay, so we're supposed to escort the Marines. There'll be lots of bads then. She was right there. The, the resistance was, was definitely heavy. Right, so. I'm going to fight my way through and disable the, disable the engines, I think. Signal coming from the Not good enough to do to, to deal with Delta the. Uh, lead. Go ahead and check it out. Then report back to me. Uh, the the, the Lumen are not good enough to cover it. The, the computer out. says it's from a Confed ship, but it's certainly not a new model. I'm bringing it home. Let's see him try and stop us. Okay, well let's try and take out. I miss Mark Hamill walking places. Yeah, what happened to all the corridors and the lifts? Let's wax those little turrets, right, Casey! So, shield a bit, Whoa! That thing's bigger than I thought! There's the bridge, there's the engine. I hear that all the time! There's the Sure you do, oh, maniac! Geez. Then you wake up! Oh, it's out. <laughs> Weeb! You know the drill! Go get them! You're the boss! Take him out the trash! You're sorry, Chris! It's not showing up as a... That's like a gun thing, so I can see it. Oh. Take that, you freak! Put that in your pipe and smoke it. I need a gun to take it. A sub target. I keep resetting the Richard. That's not helpful. Marine 2 requesting assistance. We're taking fire. Flash one! When you, when you turn away from it, it resets the thing that you're... which is not helpful at all. Here's the gun for the Probably they're locked on to an angle you can't see. No! Right, well, let's try and get those in. Let's shoot back out. So I'm not going to stop them in that way. Where are those Marines? Marine 2 requesting assistance. We're taking fire. One torpedo coming right up. Still. 
some difficult navigate around here. Oh, we're telling the name is in blue, it means it's invulnerable. Okay, so I can't attack it. <laughs> okay, so, okay. Gun time. Lock. Right, there we go, right. Okay, okay, cool. Hey, boy! Catch! Turrets to the left of him, turret to the right, into the valley of death. Are there any more? Eat hot plasma, space roach. Oh man, are we in for it now? Okay, hopefully no reason. Oh, still. So I'm, I'm gaining, I'm gaining a bit more. Ace yeah. I'm, 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 I'm getting better each time. I'm learning more. This is a good mission. This is a good mission. What level am I? I think I'm on a rookie level. DJ Scrooge, so it's not all that impressive at all. Um, right, but we're getting, we're getting better. I have failed my plan. I have. Right. Control, this is Delta Lead. We've got some sort of faint homing signal coming from nearby. Delta lead, go I did waste a bit of time trying to attack the enemy, which was not a good thing. So. Commander, it's some kind of distress beacon. My computer says it's from a Confed ship, but it's certainly not a newer model. I'm bringing it home. Let's see him try and stop us. Well, they tried twice and failed and succeeded both times so far, Maniac. Right, here we go. This time it's going to be different. Let's wax those little turrets, Casey. Whoa. Our job is the turrets. That thing's bigger than I thought! Let's get in there. I hear that all the time. Sure you do, Maniac. Then, then you wake, wake up. up. <laughs> Weep. The aliens have gathered their forces here. My soul is up for the shot. Break an attack! Well, there's the turret. But don't do anything see stupid. It. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Okay, so I can see two turrets. Actually, there's the whole stack of turrets here. Let's just... Last one! Squish. There's the turret. That just lost it. That's perfect. There we go. That's better. Turrets are sort of around the end here, aren't they? Sort of six configured angles. So it's now beginning to learn the direct hit. Ship. There we go. Yes, it's getting easier. Now we know where the stuff is. We can attack it more. Yeah, take that, you freak! There's only two left. Enemy targeted and destroyed. Those are really handy for. I have launched a torpedo. Right, I think all the turrets are gone. No, nope, they're not. There's another one somewhere. Got a lot. Fire. There we go. Where's the last turret? There he is up there. Where are those Marines? Enemy craft eliminated. Gun 
damage does this thing have? We got rid of all the turrets. Nice. Right, let's get out into space. Come meet the maniac. Do some stuff with the, with the ship. Just like the load here a little bit. Ow, 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 ow. Stop shooting me. Starts moving, we'll go in with the torpedoes for the engines. Now we need to save the turrets. We should find that a bit easier. See? Decent intel helps with, with mission success. <laughs> you guys come up with anything. <laughs> Ooh, an extra strong bug spray. Would you like some chill? I came here to kick bugs and chew Gorgonzola! And I'm all out of Gorgonzola. <laughs> I blame you for this. Another bug on my windshield. There isn't enough room in this town for the bull. He finally stopped bugging me. <laughs> These are better than the in-game ones. It's time to move! Okay, so we're about to get told that deal with the engine now, I'm guessing. The ship killer's preparing to attack. Take her out, Casey. Okay, alright. Engine box. Let's go get it. Switching to torpedoes. This is well, too it's, easy. It's actually moving. Which is quite cool. Watch out for the manta ray. Where is it? Yeah. Okay, we've got no. Box one! Direct your fire toward the vessel's main engines. You've got to take them out and push the power to the fire to the I have you now. I'm sure that line's been used before. Oh, the space ace! Yeah, the engine's dead. Right, where's this where's this manta? I've destroyed an enemy. Where's this manta? Ace, dude. I think we got them all. Oh, gone. Let's get in line, folks. Where did he go? Where did the manta ray go? I'm certainly happy Barney with him. Oh, my wingman dealt with him. Nice! Wingman come good. Alright, time to hit the bridge. Yeah, let's take the bridge out because... Let's do that. Let's do that thing. Are we hitting the bridge? I'm not sure we're actually hitting the bridge. Let's go around the front of the ship. <laughs> Music's got a little spooky. Other side. Okay, let's turn around there. Where is, where is the bridge? Is it on the other side of the ship? Let's go fly through. Difficult to tell. Something. Oh, the subscribe's filled in when it's in view. Right, okay, gotcha. So it's in the sort of off-center asymmetric bridge, isn't it? Not 
to be the map now. Oh, it's this thing that's stuck on the side. Heroes, this can you tell I've been far too much time on this game and others like it. Yeah. Successfully confederation. <laughs> we succeeded against the odds because we have the ability to save game. <laughs> Alpha one requesting landing clearance. <sighs> Here's some news, Lieutenant. Delta Wings retrieved an outline distress beacon. It's confident origin, but not one of the newer models. Even so, it might help us find out a bit more about what we're up against here. And you're cleared to land. <laughs> Very good. The Iceman would have been proud. Great job. The Iceman would have been proud. <laughs> I deserve a raised eyebrow for that. <laughs> you know there's that HD pack. I do, yes, yeah. So uh, people have been telling me about the HD. I must admit, I, I, I keep meaning to do that, but there's a lot of conflict that you need to do to do it, and I keep running out of time to do it. And it, it's quite fun to play these games in the old low-res mode because it kind of gives you the vibe of the, of the 90s. Um, successful, successful everything, apart from when you got 70%. Destroy alien ace fighters. They didn't tell us about that, but they clearly knew about it. Um, yeah. Back in the elevator, all the decom lift. Uh, you see, you don't know. You don't know. Because Blair would fly on my wing, okay? Because Toll and Eisen, they always, they checked with the maniac, okay? <laughs> you a border wielder? Come here, come here for a second. <laughs> <laughs> He's learned nothing. Get my only friend, my only friend. Come here, come here, let's celebrate. Celebrate? What are we celebrating? <sighs> my voluntary demotion. I am no longer a squadron commander. What? But I thought you always dreamed of running your own squadron. Dream? Yeah. Ha, it's more like a nightmare. They get pilots whining all day about stats. You got the CAG screaming for results. It's all pain, no gain. It's, here, hey, that's toast. That's toast. Maniac and Casey, all right? <laughs> to the free and easy life of the wing commander. I got that medal for you, kid, huh? Well, give the cag a kiss for me, all right? You gonna be all right? I'm the maniac. Of course I'm gonna be all right, but... Listen, hey, hey, Casey, listen, uh, you take my advice, all right? They're giving you the medals, you rake them in. When they want you to be squadron commander, you tell them to shove it. All right? All right. <laughs> Poor old maniac. Chalk we can't take the hitch in the kitchen. The Stay out. You can't take the heat. <laughs> Stay out of the kitchen. Then shut. Congratulations, Lieutenant. <laughs> it's not every day a member of my command receives the Confed Flying Cross. Bum, bum, bum. Wear it with pride. It's well deserved. Yes, sir. It's apostrophe Thanks, S. Sir. You missed it. There's a typo there. Assembly dismissed. Oh, there's Blair. Blair's back. Thank you. Well done. Thanks. A confed flying cross and a promotion to the Midway's newest badass squadron? Not a bad day's work. Hey, you guys got promoted to the wolf pack with me. Where we will no doubt be hopelessly lost in your shadow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's celebrate! <laughs> Yay! Oh. Moody, Moody's at Pete's at the back. Oh. Space portal thing, alien bad bug stuff coming through. Is that one of those ship killers with a. Uh, 
Is that a thinking ship? We've captured a thing, by the way. So now we've got a ship killing thing too. Bam, bam, bam. I can see where this is going now. Alien blueprints confirmed. these files from the databanks of the ship killer we just captured. So you're saying the wormhole these aliens are using as their invasion point is artificial? Well, artificially induced over a potential anomaly in their system, which allows them access into confed space. It took massive planning to pull this off, even with their technology. Here, look. After also analyzing the data from the beacon, Tactical thinks that the aliens' initial foray into the system was recon only. I don't think they expected to find us here. In any case, they didn't bring their whole fleet in. Oh, so there's more bad guys to come. Look closer at this structure. They're clearly reinforcing it for a permanent passage. And those plumes? Well, judging from the IR emissions, they could be the equivalent of cooling towers for the power array. The amount of heat generated to hold open a physical anomaly this size must be massive. So what would happen if we took those out? Well, it could cause an overload, but I don't yet know enough about their technology to be sure. Might not matter. Judging from this, the towers appear heavily shielded. Probably take a full-on torpedo hit. We need to find a way to shut the whole array down, and soon. No problem. We have our new plasma weapons. Yes, problem. Even if we worked around the clock to get this thing to even work with our technology, which I'm not saying we can. I'm not sure we won't blow ourselves to kingdom come the first time we try to use it. Be sure. This may be the only chance we've got. <laughs> Classic person in charge assigns technical person impossible job. <laughs> Just be sure, yeah, because. <laughs> but, 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 that's not how technology works. Yes, it is. I've said it is. So it is. OK, it's going to be a one in a million shot. We know what's coming up here. OK. And so the aliens are using the same operating system as Confed. Yes, it's all sort of low res, sort of 1990s, Windows 98, maybe. <laughs> Windows 95 sort of stuff. Um, cooling towers sounds like a target to me. Yeah, some sort of some sort of exhaust port, maybe. <laughs> is, that, is that what that is? <laughs> Ah uh, dear. Anyway, right. That's a that is a good. Oh, we get to talk to. We'll, we'll do that. We'll, we, yeah, we've already kind of talked to Maniac. He's he's now back talking to the girl he was already talking to. Um, we will save that delight. We, we will, actually, let's let's talk to Maniac. Is it? No, we've already had that conversation. We must have missed it. Um, right. Let's save the game there because um, alas, um, on that note of, of a million to one chance, um, <laughs> must end the screen. Uh, in the stream. Um, um, okay, so um, million to one chance. There we go. <laughs> so, so next week's exciting episode, bam, 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 will be to, to presumably deal with the alien baddie killer base thing. Um, Maniac is still drinking. Right, so DJ Scooby, do tell me in the chat what have I got to do? I've got to, I've got to raid again, haven't I? What have I got to do? Um, um, what do I what do I type again? Remind me what I've got to type in the chat because I've forgotten. Is it uh, raids? There we go. Right, everyone. DJ Scooby is doing um, something to do with Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. So if you want to join that for the rest of the morning, then please be free. I shall send you over there now. But thank you very much for your coming this morning in the retro stream, the Saturday morning cartoon stream, where we have defeated the bugs and done things and and failed missions miserably and, and just generally had a good time. But there we go. <laughs> the ups and downs. But we had to, the, interestingly enough, the game always seems to end on quite a good point, doesn't it? It's like it's almost designed to work for two hours. Uh, but there we go. Anyway, take care, my friends. Passing over to DJ Scooby. DJ Scooby, have a great time. See you soon. Be good. And onwards we go. I shall see you on Monday, my friends. And see you next week. Bye bye. Have a great weekend. <laughs> the read has been created. Da, da, da. Right. Um, we should have passed you all over, DJ Scooby. Take it away, my friend. Be good. Have fun with the Hitchhiker's Galaxy. Yeah. Um, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And um, make sure you know where your towel is, all right? <laughs> Very, very, very important indeed. Uh, <laughs> take care. See you soon. Be good. Have a great one. Bye-bye now.